Hey guys, I'm Daniel Summer, a headshot and portrait photographer based in Sydney, Australia, and today we're going to talk about how you can calibrate your computer screens in a few simple steps with one of these little nifty gadgets. And the one in my hand is an i1 Display Pro made by X-Rate, and I recently posted a photo on Instagram of me calibrating my computers with one of these and your response was absolutely overwhelming. So thank you very, very much for that. I really appreciate it. Um, it's been shared in photography communities and you guys had a heap of questions regarding the product, where you can get it from, how much it actually costs, how often you have to calibrate your computer screens, what settings to choose over others, and so on and so forth. And all of these questions are gonna get answered in just a few minutes. So today, we're gonna calibrate my MacBook Pro. It has a retina display, but before you say anything, I usually use that in a dual screen configuration. So I hooked up my Dell UltraSharp to show you the differences between a modern, but very, very common LED screen and a retina display technology. All right, we are in the software, um, the i1 profiler. And one thing that you can notice right off the bat is you can choose between two modes, a basic mode and a advanced mode. So the basic mode is really, really simple. It takes you through step by step uh, and you don't have to do anything, the software is doing everything for you. Um, and that's why I'm gonna take you through the advanced mode today to show you the different options that you can choose from. And yeah, that's basically it. So we're gonna go to advanced mode, profiling, and then you can see these two displays lit up here. That might be not the same as yours back home. I have two displays because I hooked up my Dell Ultrashop as I said before, to show you the different settings that you can choose from. So my left screen here is my MacBook Pro with a retina display, the color LCD, and the Dell UltraSharp is on the right. And right underneath it, you can see these two drop-down menus with display technologies that you can choose from. And that can be really confusing when you do it the first time. That's why I'm gonna take you through now what they mean. So you're starting with CCFL. CCFL basically means it's not an LED screen. Uh, most older LCD screens will be CCFL, so if you have a MacBook or a iMac prior to a retina display, it's most likely gonna be CCFL. So choose CCFL for that. Then we have wide gamut CCFL. That's basically for all the retina displays out there. So if you have a retina display, choose wide gamut CCFL. Further down, we have white LED. And white LED is the most common type of modern screens. And if you know that your screen is an LED screen, it's most likely gonna be white LED. So my Dell UltraSharp that I hooked up, would be white LED. Then we have RGB LED. That is a very, very expensive and rare display technology. Most of them have their own uh, calibration devices built in. It's, uh, it's high end and they probably wouldn't use uh, one of these calibrators to calibrate their screens. Then you can calibrate your projectors and, and your TVs and all of, that, all of that stuff as well. But we're gonna choose white gamma CCFL for our, for our screen here and the software already detected the technology for my Dell UltraSharp, it is white LED. We're gonna go with the MacBook, so we'll leave that here. Then further down, you can choose white points. Uh, white points between uh, 50 and 55. Um, these guys, 50, 55, are used in uh, pre-press and printing. It uh, has a yellowish cast to it. We don't really want that in the photo industry, so we choose D65 as that is standard for photo industry. Further down, luminance. Uh, luminance, you can choose uh, an output value for your computer screen. X-Rate recommends 80 to 100 for all the laptops or 120 for desktop computers. So we're gonna choose 100 for our MacBook Pro. Gamma, we leave everything on standard and native here. Then the software has a flare correct thing built in. So if you um, attach it to the screen, it will measure the flare in the screen and um, the light bouncing around in your room. So if you can't stop the light from hitting the screen, um, like we did, we blacked everything out here so that there's no light that can hit the screen, make sure you click that thing on if you can't do that. We can, so we leave it off. Then that um, tool has a ambient light smart control built in, so it would adjust the screen accordingly if you can't control the light or the environment that you're in. I can do that so I don't have to um, click that on. So we leave that um, blank. We go to next. Then we have profile settings. We leave everything here on default. The photo industry doesn't change anything. Um, film industry is slightly different. For photo industry, everything is default. So we're gonna go to next. 
then this feature is pretty cool. It lets you choose different patch sizes. Uh, it starts with small, goes to medium and large. Uh, and large patch size means it's going to measure 462 patches on your screen. Um, that's going to be absolutely amazing. It's, it's ridiculously awesome. And yeah, it's going to take around about seven minutes to measure all of that stuff. I'm going to fast forward the video. There's one more, one more window I'm going to show you that we have to click on to sort everything out before we start the measurement. And that is display hardware setup. Um, so the software is able to take over your screen and adjust everything automatically, or you have to adjust it manually like brightness and contrast and all that kind of stuff. We don't want to do that manually, so we let the software do what it does best. So we leave it on automatic and then we hit start measurement. All right, we're back. It measured all 462 patches. There are a few more things we have to do before we are done. So we're gonna click on next. And then we give that a name and let's call that MacBook Pro Retina and today's date. Then further down, we have a profile. We can set a profile reminder. Um, that's what people ask me a lot. How often do you have to calibrate your screen? So I'll calibrate it every three weeks. X-ray recommends every four weeks. I chose three weeks because if I miss a date, I'm still gonna be in that period. And you can choose to measure the ambient light with this device um, 24 seven. So it adjusts your screen. I am not a big fan of that to be honest because I don't wanna keep that plugged in and, and on a desk. So I'm not gonna choose that, I'll leave that off. Um, we're gonna click on create and save profile. And now it's creating a new ICC profile for us. X-Ray built in a really, really cool feature. Now, it's absolutely awesome, to be honest. We're gonna click up here on image view, on a little thing. And then you have a drop down menu on the right hand side and you can choose different photos from. So if you click on one, it lets you toggle between before and after, which is really, really cool. So if you click on before and you haven't calibrated your computer screen for a long time, that's how it looked before you calibrated it. And then you click on after and it completely blows your mind because the colors change so much and you're gonna ask yourself, how in the hell was I working on an uncalibrated monitor for so long? Make sure you play with that tool, it's a really cool thing, so you can choose a heap of different photos um, that you can toggle before and after, and that's a really cool feature. All right, that's it, guys, you're done. How easy was that? So, the reason why I picked uh, one of these up, the i1 Display Pro made by X-Rate, is because it's industry standard. Uh, and X-Rate makes outstanding products. So for everyone who does uh, color critical work, I urge you to pick one of them up if you don't already own one of these. Um, b and is currently selling them for around about 200 bucks. Amazon has them priced for 200 euros. And if you wanna get one here in Australia, be prepared to pay somewhere between 250 and $350. Last but not least, this video is not sponsored by X-Rate in any way, shape or form. I just really love their products and their customer service for that matter. With that being said, I hope you've learned something from today. If you have any further questions, visit my Instagram profile, Daniel Sommer, S-O-M-M-E-R Photography. There's an open thread on how you can calibrate your computer screens or just drop me a line in the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching, I'll see you later.